Hey everybody, this is Captain Smack back in Vega Conflict again. I have kind of started doing a little bit of strategy guide with the Paladin and now I want to compare the Paladin with uh, my Dominion carrier. Waiting for orders. So now we're going to show another strategy that you can employ using carriers and we're going to see how the Paladin compares with the Dominion carrier. So I'm launching my Paladin carrier and a couple escort ships. And we're going to show yet another strategy. This strategy requires uh, me to do absolutely nothing. AI is turned off, as you can see. And uh, all I have to do is uh, sit here and watch. And this is mainly the power of the Paladin Carrier again, so this is why you want one if you're in this game. And why I spent money to get mine. But we're just going to see this graphically. On a side-by-side -side comparison, more or less. And yes, the Paladin did all the killing. Returning to base. So let's send that guy back and bring out the Dominion. On my way. Let me just double check. That was a level 37. There's another level 37 here. So it's a apples to apples comparison. Dominion has two extra escort ships, just in case. So I don't think the Dominion can kill as quickly as the Paladin can, but we're going to find out. Keep in mind the Dominion does have Xeno squadrons. And the enemy ships bunched up real nicely. Wow. I did not think the Divinity would do that good. You know, I thought it would do a little worse than that. That's actually quite good. I think I need to see that again. I was thinking somehow that Dominion Carrier wouldn't be as efficient, but it looked like the enemy ships just bunched up because there were four escort ships. So let me see if I can follow. Let's do a 35. I'm kind of looking for a 40. The main carrier did a lot better than I thought it was going to. Once again, AI is turned off. I've got my ships in a line formation. And yeah, it looks like the second row of enemy ships does bunch up. And as soon as they bunch up, they're just dead meat. Because those, uh, those alien squadrons just do their thing. Activate, sir. 
Loud and clear. Well, there's 1.6 million resources. I don't think I can actually use them, but I'm going to pick them up and then let's take a look at the Dominion Carrier versus the Paladin. Uh, I don't think I can actually show these ships in detail, but there are uh, six squadrons on the Paladin, and there are six squadrons on the Dominion. These are level three charger swarms, I think, versus... Mainly level one yellow jackets. And if I were to take a look at the stats, well, let's just filter some of these out. Upgrade credits don't need, strong boxes don't need. All right, let's take a look. All right, so gladiator swarms is what I have on the Dominion. 410 damage, 1,000 health, versus what I've got on the Paladin. Where are you? Oh, Yellow Jackets, level 1 Yellow Jackets, 536 DPS versus 410, 2,900 health versus 1,000 health. And the speed is a bit slower on the Yellow Jackets. And the range is a bit less. Flight time is 120 seconds for the Gladiator Swarms and the Yellow Jackets is only 30 seconds. So, aside from the ship, the Swarms are pretty on par. And I think the thing that makes a difference is your Two extra Eight. escort ships cause the enemy ships to bunch up, which makes them easier to kill with the Dominion. Anyway, that's yet another strategy you can use. If you have a carrier and you have swarms that can easily take down enemy ships and you're doing alien mobilization, all you have to do is turn off AI, take a look at what happens, takes about 30 seconds. Enemies just pile in wave after wave, they're easy to kill with the carrier, and you're done. With absolutely no damage, and no repair, and no reason to use coins. Now, in a two-day event, it's really tough to get more than, you know, I would be hard-pressed to get a million points a day. Without using coins, obviously when I'm using coins, I can run two fleets at a time. If I had four fleets, with the right ships, I could run four fleets at a time. And then it's just, who cares what they do? Let them go. If there's a, any damage, repair, spend a coin, and you can pile up points pretty fast. Doing one at a time, like I'm doing for this video, it's really tough to get enough points to get any of the top prizes. You know, Guardian Cruise is going to be 2 million points. Paladin Cruise are 2 million points. The Xeno ships, 1.2 million points. So, but this is another strategy, and I just wanted to make the video. Hey, if you like what's going on in this channel, and you're thinking about subscribing, if you haven't subscribed yet, please think about subscribing. And when you're thinking about it, hit the subscribe button. It's really easy, and it's free. It helps me. It won't hurt you. You might get some videos you can watch. I do other videos than Vega Conflict, but obviously I'm hooked on this game. What can I say? And uh, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you don't like the video, you know what to do. Um... Check out the Patreon page. Support me. I want to grow the channel. I've only got 75 subscribers. So that might seem a little silly to have a Patreon page, but, you know, you got to start somewhere. And that's where I started. So that's it for the video. Hey, get out there and uh, gain some points in this event. And uh, we'll check you later. Meanwhile, I'm upgrading a uh, Punisher to Mark II. It's being refitted going to be done in, well we can take a look at that real fast, it's going to be done in a couple days. Base. 
Uh, one day, one hour. Cool. And that is a Punisher refit for a Mark II. I do have other Mark IIs hanging in the winds. Hanging in the wings. If the wings were winds. Let's take a look at my upgrade credits. Alright, so I've got two other Mark II Punishers. I was going to do my Punishers to Mark II and then do my Guardians to Mark II and somewhere in there I'm going to do that Paladin to Mark II. It's going to be kind of tough to be without a Paladin carrier for a while, but yeah, I'll switch around my Dominions and it'll be a Dominion in place of a Paladin because they're, they're kind of on par. Obviously in a, in a battle between a Dominion and a Paladin, Paladin's going to win. But for PvE, you know, easy to do. So that's where I'm at. And get out there and have fun. We'll catch you later.